Hi guys, welcome to another video. I know that when somebody starts on print on demand business, the most problematic things is the niche research. Generally, people have like no idea what to sell on their store. So I decided to create this little bit of a series on YouTube where I will try to show you a very interesting shops on Redbubble where people sell all different kind of stuff and making tons of sales on them. Guys, sorry to interrupt the video, very quick reminder, I have an active coupon code on the website Merchant Informer, which gives you 20% discount forever after you register on the website. So you just need to type Johnny POD, all the capital letters in the coupon code section while registering on the Merchant Informer and you can get the whole tool for $8 a month. And let me tell you guys, this is the best tool I've ever used to do the niche research. Uh, you can find a great niches for Amazon and they will also work for Redbubble, for Team Public, for your Etsy store, anywhere. Um, so I have a couple tutorials on how to research niches using Merch Informer, so you can definitely check them out. But yeah, use the code JohnnyPLD to get 20% discount. So without further ado, let's get into it. I will show you a very interesting shop and then I will try to explain you how you can create a very similar products to sell on your own. So we are here on this shop, uh, the seller's name is Ivana Baka or Ivana, I don't know how to, how to pronounce it differently, so sorry about that. So the whole store is about selling this sort of a cat memes and stuff like that. So when we go through the store, we can see that there is not that many designs, only 31 designs on the whole shop. But when you will scroll down to the bottom of the shop, you can actually see that this seller has over 20,000 favorites, which uh, probably is easily like between five to 6,000 sales. Uh, I cannot tell you the exact numbers because obviously Redbubble won't tell us how many sales a person's got if it's not our account uh, but generally you can assume that every five or six favorites there is a sale because uh, generally I take this from my experience from my own shops so uh, we can see that also there's a Instagram profile linked we're not gonna go there today but generally the whole layout of the shop and the idea behind it is very simple selling like kind of blurry low quality images of cats and to be specific like sort of a cat memes because some of these pictures are very very popular on the internet already the first thing that needs to be discussed is that where you can sell things like that where you can sell the sort of a memes very popular images which are funny sarcastic and as per google when i try to research this topic uh, google says that most internet memes are based on someone else's image and therefore cannot be used so as a general rule internet memes are a no-go for your t-shirt printing business so from what you can read on google is that if this exact image which is sold as a meme is actually somebody else work uh, you cannot sell it freely on the on the internet so probably you could go try just copy the image and risk it however there is a another way to do it completely legally where you don't need to worry about all this stuff so what you just need to do is just to go on this website called TensorArt. i have already made a video about it and this is very very straightforward website where you can generate different ai images so what you just need to do is when you um log in on the website so i'm gonna go back to the main page of the TensorArt. so we are here on this main page and after you are logged in you can just use your google account i don't think you, you need to register like a whole account you can just uh, log in with google uh, and what you need to do after logging in is just clicking on this create button with this little wand on the left so just click on it and after clicking create you will need to select a specific model so in my case this was the sd3 universal beta model which basically works great for this sort of realistic images like um so it looks more like an actual photo than the ai generated image or or some animated stuff what, what i did just selected the sd3 universal then uh, you can go with the aspect ratio whatever you want i selected a square image but you can actually do whatever you want here you don't need to change anything this is this stuff is a bit more complex when you are into um, creating this ai generated stuff i have made a separate video about tensor art so you can check it out on my channel i explained there uh, these settings a bit more briefly 
we're gonna go with the very basic settings here and the next thing you just need to do is to add some prompt to the image so for example um, I have typed funny cat with sunglasses and meme type image so this one is very basic probably if you want to be more specific um, the better for your image because really like a ve very general prompt uh, do not work great on these AI tools okay anywhere so after like typing funny cat with sunglasses meme type image what you need to do is just click on generate and before that you can also select how many images uh, you want to create so um, in my case I wanted to create two images so we already have some options some alternatives uh, to choose from so after that you can just click on generate and you will be able to see uh, the generating process of your image. One thing that needs to be mentioned here is that you have already a limited amount of um, credits to use. After logging in with the free account, you have around 100 credits. And as you can see, generating two images with this model costs me around 1.6 credit so you can generate a lot a lot of images probably more than you can upload on Redbubble uh, so don't worry about that so this process takes a bit so I'm just gonna wait and I'll show you the results oh actually here we are with the results so what you are seeing here is that um, some sort of a photos of funny cats with glasses uh, here you can see the actual image what you can do after generating such image is just click on it and then click on download right here uh, what i do recommend is also you can add some text you can make the quality a bit worse because uh from what you can see is that um all of these images have a sort of poor quality because this works great with the like meme vibe image right so so the quality is not like crystal clear but it's a bit decreased so uh, a very easy thing to do if you have a photoshop you can just use the filter pixelate or if you're using canva you can just lower the sharpness of the image and it will work great you can also add some some very basic fonts uh, some texts and uh, to make it more like a specific meme or something like that but this is generally how this shop works and you can see it makes a tons and tons of sales so guys let me know what you think i hope you like the video i hope you like this new idea of this sort of a, a series when i try to show you different shops on redbubble hope you have a great rest of your day if you still have any questions about that you can you can ask me in the comments i will try to answer all of them Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again very very soon. Bye bye.